But I'm still, I still also want to be focused on, I mean, I realize I'm asking a lot, so whatever, yeah. but I want to be focused to, to know if there's any other spells currently active on this body. I mean, yeah, well, I mean, you can just tell as you're chipping away the ice, like, there's no further magic. So we're doing this, guys. I mean, yeah, they, I they, they, they set to work. They're chipping away. All right, away. well, I'm going to expedite the process, and I'm going to get in there with my dagger and help out and whatever. All right. I'm standing with dumb. my hammer and yeah. my dagger. So you guys you guys take your time, but uh, you, I mean, eventually extricate this this corpse from the ice, and it just, yeah, you, you can do that. It takes you a while, but you have Alex's dead body and lying in front of you. It's still very pale and cold, but... Stiff. So I it's, just... it's wet now as, as, as you pull it away from the ice and like like just handling it. Like it... Is it moist? Ew. Really? That was it very is... rude. R so rigor mortis good. has set so in. Good. Oh, yeah. I mean, yeah, this stiff, is long it's a dead. Stiff body. It's a long dead. Yeah. Uh, Alex, do you I'm have any like. Her down. What's that? I just put her on the ground because I'm just, I'm just looking at her. I, I, ask, I ask you, do you have any like, any like spots that you like to hide things on your person? <laughs> jacket or anything like I don't know or you put your you know you hide coins or something like maybe this if this is really you then maybe this one has a similar spot and then we would be able to identify that I have no idea I mean like my stuff he's asking if you have a birthmark like in your private area or okay. something Jeez, why are you so angry tonight that's not what I was asking he was but asking if you if that's you a good idea hid, too I guess hid stuff like mm -hmm. treasure chests on your per like no. <laughs> like, do you ever keep fan treasure chests on your body somewhere? No, I don't. <laughs> no, but if you had like a secret pocket in your um in your smock that held like yes. my name is Alex and I am this. I'm just I'm just problem gonna solved. Keep going. Do you know what this? Do you know what this episode reminds me of, Alex? What? This reminds me of the sidetracked episode where Quigley and Craig were just like, we're gonna do whatever. Whatever. It doesn't matter what we do. He helped. I'm standing okay. guard. Oh, we're right I here. Wanna, I just want to search <laughs> through the pockets for something. Sure. You, La you go. Lady Lyra, Quigley would love See to it. give you Ned. However, for the good of the show, Ben is going to keep no. Ned in no, the no. bag. No, no, no. Because you're... Tr no. No, that's not fair. Make him give it to me. You find nothing <laughs> else on the body. Uh, there are, like, on the belt, there is, like, slots for knives that have been removed. Um, pockets have been emptied. Uh, uh, there is nothing else here. Just, just the clothing. A heel check to see if I can determine how she died. Yeah, okay. Outside of, you know, ice and very old. So are we mm -hmm. taking the other you with us? Might want to do a proper burial. It's there. Because if it was me, I'd I would want <clears throat> some type of burial. No those bandages. Uh, 18 I plus 2 is 20. 20. I, can, <clears throat> I take out my shovel and start digging a hole. No, I'm not it's here. It's a stone floor. Get out you <laughs> what is find uh, indications of pretty severe frostbite and also bruising on the neck that suggests I strangulation. Should. So here's a quick thought process. I know my wisdom's a little lower right now because I was poisoned, but um, if we bring this version of Alex with us to the witch, um, probably it'll come back to life and then we'll have to fight it. And then, so maybe we should leave it here, go kill the hag, and then come back and get it in the eve. All right. I don't think that's a bad plan. I don't want it to become alive. You wouldn't want to fight I don't want it to become alive either. I don't, no I don't want it to happen. <laughs> she has no hey, weapons on her. We found, exactly. We found bandages in a chest in the armory. We wrapped the body in bandages. Maybe we should find out what, if they're special or something. Lord Marcus, are any of these magical? <laughs> Say, Alex, what do you want to do with the hag? I don't know. Guys, I don't know. I just... If the she hag knows me, killed she... you. She might have. Or she at I, least she might knows have how. answers. I just want how an answer. Happened. I'm not trying to make this difficult for anyone. I just want to know. So here's the deal. We can go and get the answers. But we're going to kill that hag. That's fine. Right? After I get some answers. I don't know. Sometimes you gotta make a deal. 
So what kind of deal? What? A deal Let's like make a deal. Well, I don't. I, Come on down. I'm, I'm guessing that this old hag is gonna wanna make some kind of deal with you. I would assume. Like a sexual thing. It sounds thing? like it sounds no. like you, some version of you, tried to make a deal with her before. Yeah. From the conversation you were having with her, and that did not go well for somebody. Whether it's yeah. you or a different version of you, I don't. It, you know, dangerous abominations are so weird. So, so they talking like riddles because it sounded like you made the deal and got your answers, but this is your answer. I'm not. Death is the answer. Mm. Frozen. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't know what the answer to the riddle is. Because it seems like a, or at least it seems like talking in. I just don't know how you're two people. Well, the hag was roosting in that room we were in. I just don't understand. It's just two people. Recently. I'm still trying to figure it out over in the corner. Not really in the corner. Could the hag have, mm -hmm. have distracted <coughs> us with an image and snuck out? I mean, just at the same time? Certainly, yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, the, yeah. The hag. Well, the other question is, though, was the hag indicating that, because if the hag lives there, but the hag said, come find me, and this is also the way out, does that mean that the hag is still out? Like, in other words, I'm wondering if we walk down this hallway and we just, we're just out. Yes. Sure. And there's no hag at the end of this hallway. Well, then that leaves you hanging. Well, that's the hag said this is the way out. And the hag was not in the... Hmm, maybe uh, we should ask him. You should pull him out of your bag. The hag was not in the, uh, in the hag's nest. The head told us this was the way out. Maybe we should ask him again. He should pull it out of your bag. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm All not right. pulling that out. Don't pull the head so out. Um, are we leaving my... Back <laughs> these magic He's just been standing here for I'm just looking at yeah. all the rest of the bodies, and I'm thinking, yeah. sh well, shouldn't we bury them all? That's a lot of bodies to uh, to ice back if if they become alive. I'm not a big fan of this plan. I get, oh, can I just make a spellcraft check? Aren't they kind of buried? To do what? Already. To check and see if yeah. these things are yeah. magical. But I mean, you I understand can. why Alex wants to take hers, but we don't have uh, us That would be these. a 22. For which? Um, the belt first? Belt. Wait, hold on. Oh, sorry, I just have to ask a question. He's doing a what kind spell of check? Spellcraft check. You don't even know if they're magical. I, I'm just, you know, just making sure. <laughs> I'm going to check everything. He's detecting like, evil. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Since this is obviously <laughs> the most important thing to Ben and Sir Quigley, I'm just going to tell you what everything is. Okay. Because right? it's, it's obviously there's nothing else important. I just want to do out there's the goods. Nothing else, there's nothing else that matters that's going on. So... Quigley, what you have, the treasure that you found. I'm gonna do it. The treasure that you found <laughs> is a, a meridian belt, all right? This narrow cloth belt has a silver buckle in the shape of four rings. The belt allows a creature what? to wear a magic ring on each foot in addition to the ring on each hand. Oh, um, Though so only two rings function at one time. As a swift action, you can change which of the rings are active. Uh, for example, a creature could wear a ring of protection, a ring of resist energy, a ring of swimming, and a ring of counter spells, switching between any two of them as a swift action each round. So I hold up the belt and I say, who would like this belt that wears many rings? I'm what? not even looking at him. Meridian? I'm kneeling yes. down next to my body. I don't even look at him. What? Okay. Why are we worrying about Ooh, this Oh, that right sounds now? nice. All right, I guess Lady Lyra is the <laughs> only one who wants it. Well, I'm just cool. sitting on the ground right now. Uh, <laughs> Sounds fun. Thank you. The... Okay, so you have a meridian belt. Okay. Uh, the robes are monk's robes. Oh, I'm getting a monk's lot of clothes robes today. robes <laughs> are super good. When worn, these brown robes confer great ability in unarmed combat. If the, we if the wearer has levels in monk, her AC and unarmed damage are treated as if she has a monk level five levels higher than oh! the current level. It looks like it would fit me. If you have the By stunning least. fist feet, the robes let you make one additional stunning attack per day. And actually, the robes don't quite fit you, 
but they do, but it's really unflattering. Like, there's a little bit. It really definitely, like, makes your hips look just a, a little well, you too know big. I could use it. I think I you just... tuck it in there, and you right. can use it, but, like, you just don't feel right in them, you know? I mean, but, it's, it's going to have to take some getting used to, but yeah. it's kind of the style to have a little more baggy look, so I'm just going to go with it. I think I just hand... I'll make it Lyra's own. Make it Lyra's own. You'll yeah. make it work. I hand get so crack the everlasting adjust. torch. You got an everlasting torch, guys. Something you've been wearing so for a long it, time. I look at it and I look at the lantern that's following me and... The lantern goes away. Oh, no, it doesn't. No. All right, I'll take it. Don't you also take have. It. You gave it to me. All right, okay. Bandages of rapid I'm recovery. I, I forgot everything you just said. <laughs> These linen bandages have the same color and softness as the feathers of a dove but their antiseptic smell suggests a less natural origin. Any creature wrapped in these bandages recovers from wounds and ability damage each day as if receiving complete bed rest regardless of activity. The, a, a, a creature actually receiving long-term care with the heal skill or complete bed rest while wearing the bandages gains a plus four bonus to its effective level or hit dice when determining how many hit points it recovers each day. Oh. The bandages are, de bandages are destroyed once removed or when the wearer recovers all hit points and ability damages, whichever comes first. Can you put those on a dead body? They will not bring anybody back to life. And how they, many are there? It basically makes sleep idea. better. It does not make death go away. How many are there? You have enough for to use one time. Okay. And the Abbey Burning Torch, which you already know about. And the potions? Yep, let's get right to the potions. <laughs> You have a potion of bear's endurance. That gives you a plus four <laughs> bonus to your constitution when you drink it for 10 minutes. You also have a potion of resist energy, fire. This will give you resistance to fire damage equal to 10. Perfect. Hmm. Great. Wow, it's like I just went shopping. Right? But in, in a really creepy cave. Steve just wanted to give you a lot of good stuff. Yeah, thanks, Steve. I don't exactly remember what the rings were, though. Can you repeat that? You, you don't even really have can't. four magical rings yeah, at you... all yet. But when you oh, do get them... You'll tell me. Okay. You'll be able to use them. So I don't have the rings yet. I mean, you, you don't have you don't have magical... Like, you have how many magical rings are you no, using right now? None. I have a right? question so, no. unrelated to myself, but about the belt. Yeah. So you know how Marcus puts on his ring of sustenance uh -huh. and he has to set. Yeah. Now, can he swap that one or will it mess it up? It will not interrupt it, but it, it will not be active while he oh, is. That's uh, very interesting. Okay. Yes. Um. So what do you say we go kill this hag and get some answers first? Hmm. And then come back and bring. And his then body come back and get these bodies and. And bring them. Wait. So we're gonna do what? We're gonna tell the hag what we told, what Lyra told Ned, and say, if you don't give us answers, we're gonna kill you, or I'm not gonna. Or what are we gonna do? If you don't if you give don't, us answers, we won't kill you. We're gonna kill you. Wait. Give us answers, and I'm gonna kill you. No. Wait. No. Okay. Stop. No. We'll You're just fine. go get You're some fine. answers. It's fine. Let's go. Are we gonna go find this hag? Yes. Let's go. But Marcus looks deep in thought. We gotta. <laughs> he went let invisible. Him Mark Again. has vanished. <laughs> Kevin Alexander says, hashtag greedy quickly, let's hear more about Alex. It's true, Aww, I was just trying to dole and out. Like, we just needed this, we this just, stuff. we needed a shopping episode. The things. We haven't had one in a while. You guys said you I missed the shopping episodes. Shop, so and now we got a little shopping episode. Uh, Meta Ben. I just wanted to know what we had. Just wanted to know what well, we had. And that was, that was, that was see, just, see that was just we Glenn, had to get that out of the way. See, Darren Glenn points out, lock sprays poison when struck. Take wisdom damage. Quigley hit it, hit, hit it again. Quigley obviously can't afford to lose any more wisdom. Mm. <laughs> no. no. Very true. Uh, no. No, man. You. Can. So, yeah, I guess uh, that's. You just go kill the hag now, right? No, we're no, going we're gonna to go to get her. answers and then kill the hag. Oh, Don't let her then. know. But I won't tell her. So. I'll keep that a secret. <laughs> I won't metagame like can, some people do. <laughs> do do I feel comments? like it's weird that head. he is. No, more I'm sorry, I'm amped up about just killing everything. Well, see, here's the thing: is like, that happening? I think I think what we are seeing is a lot of Ben <clears throat> got really excited it's about an killing evil the thing, thing. And, and the treasure, but then now he'll now that he's been sat and now his his bloodlust has been sh sated, 
We'll see more. I shall kill that lock. <laughs> All right. Can I'm going to add can a tick to my Alex? box. I don't know. Alex, I can't stop you from doing anything you want to do. Where do you, what do you want to do? I want to talk to her. All right. Which way? Should we follow her then or wherever she went? Yes. All right. Let's go. You go. Did we not get the bodies out? The body, the yeah, rest of the bodies are not out. We're going to come back. back. They wanted to come back because they were worried they that the hag still. could use the bodies or that the bodies were already under the effect of some sort of spell that would cause them to attack you if they were released. But they, yes, that was... You want to hear about all the things? No. Yeah. They're all monk things anyway. Stephen Dunham literally likes monks. I want them. Thanks, Stephen. All right. You guys go down the tunnel that was indicated. That, in fact... Essentially following the footsteps of the illusory hag. The tunnel you are in winds its way along. All natural now, not dug out like the previous pathways. So now this is unworked stone. It's very rough and windy in a Trap lot of places. Thing. Some stalactite mites and stalactites are, are stalag- coming up and coming down. Yeah. 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 Uh, so the, the, the ones with the G are coming up from the ground, everybody. The ones with the C are coming down from the oh, I have ceiling. Oh, too. Stalagmites. Stalag. Wait, stalagmites. That might is also reach a way. Top? Yes, Jared. Was a cave tour guide, Jim. I mean, yeah. I understand, oh. but I'm Hanging just saying tight, right? both. Oh, cool. yeah. Both methods Spelunky. get you to the same place. I love Stalagmites. <laughs> Dragons and things. We concentrate on the important stuff. Thanks. Uh, you walk for about three things. or four minutes before mm-hmm. you notice that the ambient light is actually growing a little bit brighter. It's not like <sighs> daylight now, but it's it's a little bit lighter in the tunnels. Um, soon, you come to a wide chamber with a pool of water towards the middle. It's a very small pool. Um, it doesn't look like it's very deep, uh, but it does look like it is covered with a thin sheet of ice. On your left, immediately to your left, there is a raised wall, but you can see it only goes, uh, it doesn't go up to the ceiling, like there's definitely like an area. And you can even see when you look further down the wall, there's like a little ramp that you could go up into this this other area that's right above you. Mm. Now the fountain treasure uh, <laughs> the uh, there is, as I said, a pool, but there's a lot of room to go around it. Uh, so the, the, the pool itself is not uh, an obstacle or really a danger. Uh, but what is an obstacle or a danger is that standing across from you, about 40 feet away, blocking the tunnel onward from this room, is a large, blue-skinned brute with a huge underslung jaw and long, gangly arms tipped with black claws. Another dangerous abomination! <laughs> It holds a massive stone axe in one hand, roars a challenge, and rolls initiative against you. Woo! Initiate combat time. I sure didn't mention this. 14. 14 for Mr. Quiggles. Uh, Alex, what are we looking at? 22. Whoa! Woo! Whoa! She's quick on her feet. Craig? 13. Well, I'm determined. She's de- She is, and she is, she is. When they roll initiative, 18. should they be rolling their saves too against their poison? No, that won't happen just yet. Um, Lyra? 18. Lyra's also fast. Marcus? Nine. Ah, Marcus is not fast. It's okay. I am Ow. medium fast, right in between Alex, or Lyra and Quiggles. Alex, you are first to react to the danger. Taking a ready, 40 feet away. Taking a ready action. I'm going to see if Craig or one of them goes up to fight them. I'm going to flank them. Okay. So you would take a double move to get around it because this is basically like 40 feet away. You're going to wait for them to, uh, yeah. to act? Yeah. Okay. Okay, Lyra. Yeah. I'm... Um, where? Okay, so I was by... Alex, how far are we from this guy? This 40 feet away. 40 feet. And, okay. Um, I'm going to withhold my action right now. You are going to withhold. Now, when you withhold, <clears throat> wherever you choose to go will be your new place in the initiative order. You're aware of that? Sure. Okay. Uh, this creature rushes forward about 20 feet. With one of its, it's still got its axe in one hand. It reaches down, picks up a... a large, like, rock, oh. and chucks it at, you're probably the first one, you're leading the party, right? Sure. I assume. 
Uh, what's, Jack and what's the formation? Two, two, one, like we were before. That's sure. Yeah, I assume. Yeah, so you saving shield on just there. saving shielding, Alex. Here comes the rock. Uh, I missed by a wide margin. So this rock comes and just shatters against that that tall wall that's like right next to you. You just duck under it. It's sprayed with uh, chunks of rock and ice as it just shatters, but you are unharmed. And now it is Quigley's turn. Uh, is it within range to charge? Oh yeah, it's, ah! it is. But there is the icy, there's the puddle is between you and the creature in a direct line for a charge. So you would have to make an acrobatics check to avoid that slide. And my new belt doesn't give me uh, effects against that, correct? Because that's only when moving through uh, an allied square. What's your new belt? What new belt? It's the belt that I got from, uh, from in, it's the belt of, belt of tumbling? Oh, no, that would only, yeah, it only affects, that's for against, against attacks of opportunity. That is what you are focused with, the belt of tumbling. Can I make a move to jump over it? Not with a charge. All right, then yeah. I'm just going to make an acrobatics check uh, to go ahead and charge to it. Oh, okay. I really... Now, I will warn you that the Belt of the Tumbling is probably going to come to effect because this is a large creature. Ooh, 10 foot reach. With 10 feet of reach. So you are going to have to make that check to avoid an attack of opportunity. All right. But, you, so they, first but one... the Belt of Tumbling will help you. So the first one is to avoid not sliding on the ice. All right. Uh, that would be a 17. 17 is enough. You keep your footing. Then the next one the is, next to, one is avoid to avoid attack. that attack of opportunes. Uh, that would be a 22. 22, I gotta check that against the creature's CMD. I'm afraid 22 is not enough. Ah. And he is making that attack. A huge <clears throat> ax. <clears throat> right down. Oh, ax. An ax, yes. Does a 25 hit you? Yes. 25 hits you, so that is gonna be some damage. Ah, uh, but not enough. You are only going to take six points of damage. This thing just gah, smashes you. Uh, but you were you were moving too fast for it to get it, it misjudged the speed a little bit. Didn't get a good solid hit, but you know, draws some blood. It feels good about it. Go ahead and make your attack. <laughs> nope. 15? Nope. Nope. Not nope. Nope. Now you had said that if you wished. Uh, you wanted to get around to flank this guy. Yes. Which you can do. Yes. He does not have um, combat reflexes, so he cannot make another attack of opportunity. So you can get around behind him. Yeah. Uh, and you are not, for, so you'll be set up for your next attack will be flanking. Perfect. Against him. Yes. Uh, Craig? Can I flank with Alex as well? Uh, not with Alex, no, because she is like Quig uh, Quigley and Alex are directly. They're flanking. You don't have room to all like you can't flank also with Alex. I go in next to him. Oh yeah, you can be next to him though. And power attack. And a power attack. You just walk in normals, just normal walking. I mean, it's slippery. I'm not gonna. Yeah. I'm not. You don't want to. You don't want to charge in there if it's slippy. I'm, gonna, I'm already gonna take an attack and attack of opportunity. It does not have combat sorry. reflexes, so. Oh, it already did it. To it. I already did it. Ooh, 19. Oh, that's good. Yeah, 19 on the die. Yeah, you um, got plus it. Plus nine. You hit that's not this. Right. <laughs> that's not right Dang. either. Ugh. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. So minus, okay, 21 damage. Oh! You just like cave in part of its chest. You like leave an imprint of your hammer, you rip it out. And Bits I, of your flesh like stuck to it. Smiling. And I swing again. Because mm, you moved. You can't make two attacks if you moved as well. I'm sorry. Mm. Uh, what did you do next? You also, so just for the record, can't make attacks with torches that you have thrown. Just keep that, that in mind as well. If you ever throw a torch, you can't also make an attack with <laughs> it. Did you just get dark in the Yeah, what's this lighting? It's <laughs> a lot of shade. Hey, I, I'm good with that. Now I have a lantern, and I can pull out a torch, and I won't have to throw it. Got it. Yeah. And it's lit you. forever. It's yeah, lit forever. I, I don't think uh, But it doesn't emit heat, just so you're aware. Marcus, your friends have, have, have surrounded this abomination, this dangerous abomination. There's another one. Fire your guns, brother. I do a couple things. Oh. First thing, I'm going to talk. And I'm going to say, 
Why are you here, Abominate? <laughs> Who are you waiting for? <laughs> what? And then... <laughs> and then I'm gonna detect Got magic. One. All right, you don't detect any magic. Okay, and then I am going to uh, use some knowledge to see if I know what this thing is. Knowledge local on these guys. That might be enough to tell me a thing or two about what it is. Knowledge local, 11 plus 15, 26. 26, these are ice trolls. Oh, an ice or troll. It's an, it's an ice troll. Uh, it is definitely an ice troll. Yeah, oh. you know that. Uh, I, I mean, susceptible to fire. everybody knows that the trolls regenerate, and yes, it is susceptible to fire and immune to cold damage. Mm. 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 Well, I talked. Mm. I detected magic, which is a spell. Yep. So, so that's it. That's yep. all you got. Uh, so but yeah. I do, uh, I guess at the end, I'll say, it's a troll, troll, it's a troll, it's a troll. Troll, 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 and then I go, but I don't know why it's here. <laughs> Nobody it, knows why it's here. Does it have yeah, the no. face of Kyle Adams? Uh, <laughs> sure. I mean, you can imagine it to be whatever face you want, quickly. This is the theater of the mind. It. So so I wanted to really quick also to read a comment. Craig and Lyra sitting in a tree. And then the branch breaks because Craig's a pretty good guy and Lyra twists her ankle when she lands. Not very romantic, but accurate. And Brian Summer. <laughs> Brian Summer, that's a very romantic That comment. is that's, that's poetry. That's poetry uh, right there. Yeah. Uh we'll clap. Alex? Going for the oh attack. wait, now huh? just sorry. Just because fine. technically you have not acted. I know. You could act, but if you do, you will then forever be last. Um okay. I wanna start my heart pin. You start the heart pin and everybody will get a plus one to attack and damage yes. as inspiring music fills the room. Is this the same day as the last time she used the harpin? No, I didn't, I didn't. She didn't use it yesterday. Didn't. She didn't use it against the cloaker. It. She I was, I think stop. she was nauseous against the cloaker. Don't take it away. All right. No, I didn't use it. Attack with my rapier first and then my shocking. With the rapier. 19. Oh! That's a critical. Critical yes. threat. Throw Roll it threat. again. Oh, 11, no. No, no, no critical. Plus two, bonus. plus two, no. plus, no. plus your bonus. You're still looking at like a 13. It's 11 on the die. Oh, well, then that's a whole different story. Huh? That's a whole so story 11 plus nine. It's 22. 22. That's 23. Okay, that's a critical hit. Ah! All right. Critical. Scott hit it, eh? It's like he drank it's... too much maple syrup. That's what oh happened. My he did drink a lot of maple syrup. No, I'm telling you, ever since uh, oh GM gosh. Quigley started, what? Why it's been didn't a different... you save any of that for any of us? Yeah. That was for us? Roll damage, Alex. Paladin Quigley, back at it again. My wisdom's you get to low. So Critical this is the rapier. Yeah. The rapier, so your damage die, and your, so normally it's, it's like, like what, 1d6 six six plus three? Yeah, 1d6 plus two. So 1d6 plus two, so roll that. So three plus two, five. Five, double it. Five, ten. ten. So that's your critical damage. Now you get to roll your sneak attack damage. Oh yeah, that's right. Shh. Sneak attack. That doesn't get doubled, but it is still cool. Is your sneak attack 4d6? No, 3d6, yeah, because you're not using your shocking one. Yeah. <laughs> that's better. Six. I'm playing some music. So what's that? Eleven. Of my heart oh, yes, 13. What? Is that right? 13. Yeah. 13. 23. 23 points of damage. Oh my gosh. So that's the rapier. That's the rapier. <laughs> Kill it. There's the shocking short sword. Oh, six plus nine. Plus two, no. Oh, plus two and plus one. Plus one. That. 60, 70, 80, 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. 80. Uh, auspicious mark. Uh, you don't have auspicious, auspicious mark. mark. Okay, it is the creature's turn. He is so so upset. First thing that's gonna happen is some of those wounds are gonna are gonna clear up. Well, he's gonna look a little bit better. How long is he? Not been a lot. Standing there. But a little he's bit better. What is he? He gets to stand there. He shouldn't have been standing there. So Maybe then what he's gonna do is he is going to battle axe. That's it. Bite and claw. Holy. Oh, goodness. Alex. Right. Because she. She's still under resistance, right? She does not have resistance not still? No, that lasts for one minute. Oh, that's so, a bummer. Here comes the battle axe. Battle axe is going to hit 24. 
I'm gonna assume that's a hit. Yep. All right. So from the battle axe, taking ten points of damage. Oh. Okay. Here comes the bite. Tries to Dutch. get you in his jaws. Nineteen on the die plus two is twenty-one. I'm gonna go ahead and roll damage on the bite. That's gonna be eight points of damage from the bite. And here comes the claw. Uh, it's 11. Okay. That's not gonna do it. That's not gonna get no, you. No, no, of course not. That is the troll's turn. Here comes another. But, but what? From above, you two, you hear a roar and a shadow falls over you as a huge creature with an axe jumps down and attempts to slice in twain, cleanly bisecting the wizard. Good Here comes. Why are you here? <laughs> Death Rubber <Ramadan. laughs> What are you doing? A stone shield. Ah. Um, Sorry. That is going to be a 22 to hit. Uh, I'm gonna stone shield myself. You are gonna stone shield. So you That's use your reaction. Ring. You use a reaction and stone shield, giving you a plus four to your current AC. Uh, which is a 24. So is which this is a, now a 24. Wait, is, wait, wait. It was a troll. Oh yes, this is another of Ew, these creatures. Uh, how many of them are there? That is a fantastic question. I wonder if they're friends of the Yeti. Can I make a perception <laughs> check? Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> I like you so much. Sometimes. 19 on the die plus, plus perception, which ridiculous is ridiculous. Perception. So okay. that's like 31. So one thing that you notice 31. is a troll right in front of you. Yes! <laughs> trying to just... Yes, I see that, but do I see any other troll? Destroy. Do I see any other yeah, troll? Yeah, there's two trolls. There's another troll. Yeah, over there. Don't isn't. patronize me. Tell and me what I see. there's a troll right here. It seems like... <laughs> What's that? That... There's like something moving oh, no. under the ice. Aww. But only Quigley standing on it, right? That's it. Yeah. And Crag is right next to him. Oh, and Crag are both standing on the ice. That's fine. Next up is Quigley. Uh, do I see that? See what? See, uh, oh, you heard that's from behind you. Yeah, sure. Um, like you are aware of that. That was no secret. And use the monk rope. <laughs> so I am split second decision, I am going to see that they have damaged this troll quite a bit. I mean, one could assume. And I'm going to charge the other troll. Charging the other troll means- You're on the ice. I have to do things. acrobatic acrobatic, over it. Acrobatics to ice. Uh, and then are you trying to tumble out of the way of this? Because if you're also trying to, if you're trying to acrobatics over the ice to avoid the attack of opportunity, that's gonna be like some some hard stuff to do, but it's up to you if you want to do that. Or just no, take the attack of opportunity. No, I'll take the attack of opportunity. All right, so the attack of opportunity coming at you. This thing's gonna try to swirl around, smash you with the ax. Oh no, never mind. That's no 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 problem. No problem. Right, and then I'm acrobatic. Acrobatics your way. Uh, 18 on the die, so that's a 20. Then you acrobatically get you over there and you uh, make your attack. All right, so here it comes! Uh, 17 plus the... Uh, 17 plus uh, 18. Okay. I'm, I'm still going. I'm 18. But it gets me a plus one, so yeah. it's, it's not going to Okay, so then you get into the other Oh, but it's reach. a charge! Yes, yeah, so plus two so for your 20. charge. 20 is a hit. Yes. And he is also making an attack opportunity against you because yep. you get into his reach. Yep. Remember, your AC is down if you charge yep. by two. Uh, does not look like it matters. All right. And I do eight points of damage to it. Eight points of damage. Hey. Okay. That is Quigley's turn. Crag. There's all this yelling. Yep. So I'm like, ah! Oh, and I power attack the guy in front of me again. You power attack the guy in front of me. <laughs> oh. oh. No, and the yelling threw me out. Like, I was thrown off. He ran away. Uh, I rolled Marcus. a two. Marcus. You, you can are do in, three You attacks. are in troll oh, I can city. Do... You can do more. Oh, yeah. Can I do my more attacks and run? Oh, yeah. You can do more attacks and run. I guess. I don't have three. I have like, two. That's what you really want to do. That's what I really want to do. <laughs> I thought you were just going to give up. Oh. No, I swing again. Okay. That's a 15 plus four plus one. 20. Okay. 20. 20 will be a hit. Yes! Get it, said Craig. Get it. Oh. 
16. 16 points of damage. 16. They are so uh, deadly. The troll goes down. Yes! yes! Down. Troll goes down. Oh. Uh, now Don't it's Marcus' it turn. Oh. Marcus, you are in Troll City. Don't abandon me. I it's a troll. could not take a five foot step and cast because I'm still in its range. It has 10 feet of reach. Cool. Uh, can I withdraw? Yeah. Take a double move away. Yeah, I'm gonna, or in any direction, really. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that. Full round moving. Like a child. Like Full a, round movement. Like a tiny, oh, scared it's, child. It's actually very smart. Yeah. And, uh, That's a bad yeah, I'm spot gonna, for him I'm to be. Away. You go, do you want to go back down towards yep. the ice, the ice trophies? Yep. All right, you just head back down the tunnel. That's a very popular move this this so, round for, for Marcus. Just go back down the tunnel. Lyra? Yeah, I see that happening. This guy is right next to you. Yeah, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit him with my quarter okay, staff. Okay, so you stop But I have music. my robes. You do have your robes. What is your monk level right now? Uh, level... Two. Two. Oh. Okay. So you, let me give you some stats because a a seventh level monk has quite a bit of different bonuses. Okay. Joshua Duggar says, who is this Marcus and why is he being so helpful? I think that's when you were chipping. That was very chip. helpful what that I just was did like there. A okay. Yeah, that was. You can make three attacks <laughs> with okay. a flurry of blows. Three flurry of blows? Yes, and that's plus five, oh. plus five, plus zero. So 10. No, no, no. No, so each, one, each attack is plus five. Oh, okay. Except for the oh, okay. third attack. Plus five, third the attack third attack is at plus zero. Okay, okay. I was like, it's And that's, so that's, yeah. Okay, cool. But what was, oh, I'm sorry. Because no, that's, then it's, it's two, up. it's two more than your current, or sorry, four more than your current. Okay. Imp in my head. So what, what's her current bonus? <laughs> To which, I'm sorry. To, to her Flurry of Blows, what's her current bonus? Uh, is five, five and five. Yeah, five, five. Five? Okay, so it's actually gonna be plus nine, plus nine, plus five. Four. Oh, whoa. Because it's four nine, higher than what she's currently. Sweet. She also deals 1d8 damage with her fists now. Oh! Wow. She's very scary. Wait, and nine, nine you have scary. a plus one bonus to your armor class. So whatever your armor class is, it goes up by one. And next armor. time we'll find Paladin's armor okay. that makes I'm me just, eight levels higher. I'm, <laughs> throwing, it, I'm throwing it back right. to before. Imp in my head said the ultimate rogue move. Looting your own corpse! <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty <laughs> good. Oh, That's <laughs> pretty good. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Rebel John Christian's hashtag okay. free net. Oh my god, you're right! <laughs> Are you, are you I'm attacking? I'm going to hit him. Yeah. I was like quarter three now. times? I was what? Are you going to attack him three points. times? Yes, I'm going to attack him three times. All right. Wait a second. What? Sorry. No, that's Hang okay. Uh, You're going to lose away. Mm-hmm. Plus I'm just going to change these numbers now. So, yes. Plus nine, plus nine, plus five. Yes. Plus nine, plus that's nine. Correct. Okay. With your fists, you're plus ten. Plus ten. Plus oh, yeah, because your fists are different because you have that amulet. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. All right, I've got 14 on the dice. Plus? Plus, uh, well, geez, nine. So, nine? nine. One, yep. 23. That's the hit on your first attack. Okay, so do I roll for that attack mm -hmm. first? Yeah, roll your damage, sure. it's fine. Let's do it. Okay, and that's just a d6, right? Not no, d8 now. It no. is d8. No, she's attacking with her staff. She's oh, your staff, then, nine. Is, then yeah. your staff okay. is a d6. All right, three. Plus? Plus two, or did that go up? No, that doesn't go up. All right, plus two, so okay. five. All right, so your first attack is a success. Okay. Your second attack. Um, 11 plus nine, 20. 20 is a successful attack. She's okay. so powerful now. Two plus two, four. All right, and your third attack. That's a lean reroll. 17 plus nine. Oof. Yep, that's gonna do it. And it was like this. <laughs> two plus two, four. Four. Four, four, and five. Does that right? technically four, four, almost five. make her a level 13 character? Five. I mean, in, in a broad scope, my yeah, kind of. <laughs> At least for specific things, like her saves don't go up, she doesn't gain no, a lot of the right. other abilities, but just in, in terms <laughs> so of actual ridiculous. My saves, Steve really like Dunham. Steve likes you. Thank you, Steve. Um, <laughs> Gotta get somebody that likes me. Too. Yeah. Uh, how, so Is this the Hunger Games? Like, 
That helps you when you have to make a reflex oh. save. Okay. And I'll let you know. Okay. Keep it in mind. All right, cool. Okay, top of the round, oh, Alex. Games, no. You um, now no longer have a target in front of you, but. No, but about, I see Lyra. Yep, about 15 feet ahead of you, there's another troll. So I'll sprint and flank with Lyra. You are going to go up to flank with Lyra. You will incur an attack opportunity because it's a new round, so this right. troll can attack. That's fine. You like that? You're, you're okay with that? Sure, I said it, so let's do it. All right, I believe your AC is bonus against attacks of opportunity. It should be plus four against attacks of opportunity. That's so You know, because you have, you have that uncanny dodge or whatever. Uh-oh. Uh, it doesn't matter. I rolled really ter terribly on my attack of opportunities, so... You get into position. Yes. And I mean, you have enough moves. Yeah. One make attack. one attack. Yeah. All right. I will attack with my shocking sword. With your shocking sword. Uh, nine. No, sorry. Six plus nine. Fifteen plus. Fifteen plus. The no. Two. Not that's two. It. Oh yeah, because I'm flanking too. So seventeen. Seems not gonna do it. All right, that's fine. But. Now it's their turn. So. Lucas Martinez commented that Squiggle's treasure lust is making me want to have Jim Jam give my fan treasure for him to go to another character. Sir Jonathan the Bold becomes the owner of a new catapult and. Several bales of hay. Oh, several, several, bales. several bales of hay. <laughs> All right. Uh, we are coming in with the. with the axe, bite, and claw. Is she next to me then? Or uh, 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 am I adjacent to one of them? Uh, not really, because right. it's a large creature, so no. Perfect. Uh, this thing is coming in. I think, uh, you know, you you really upset it. But, no, nah, you really upset it. He's going to come at you. Evasion. Here comes. That doesn't help you here. Evasion's <laughs> not a thing for now. Ooh. That is an 18 on the die critical plus threat. my... Oh. It's not a critical threat. Sadly, I wish it was, but for this guy, he's not. But he's definitely gonna smash you with his axe. Okay. Uh, so here we go. 12 points of damage. Okay. Here comes the bite. I'm gonna say 12 is not gonna hit you. Okay. We're gonna go with the claw. Here comes the claw. Ooh, 20. Uh, AC 20? Hit yeah. you? Yeah, you hit me. Here comes the claw. We take in three points of damage from the claw. Okay. Alright. And that was my creature. I shift five feet over so that I'm close to Lady Lyra. Alright. And then I make a full round attack action. All right. <clears throat> uh, that would be a 26 to hit. Yep, that'll get him. Uh, that does nine points of damage. Then the next one comes in at a. Uh, 13. 13 is not going to do it. And then the final one with the uh, 7. 7 is not going to do it. Nope. Get out of here with that 7. Clearly. That's why he thought I had three attacks. I only have two. I'm, sorry. I'm not a paladin, knight, I'm squire. Just, just, I'm not a squire. I mean, just, uh, it's squire your turn, again. though. It's my turn? Yeah. So that, I just knocked you are a knight. that guy down. You knocked that guy down. Everybody now went to fight a different guy. Can Leaving I get you. over there? Any flanking opportunities that I see to get in there? Uh, currently, no. Unless you want to go all the way around him. But then I wouldn't be able to hit yeah. on this turn. Going in, just going in for a power attack. Just going in, just, going just up a, in there with my hammer. Simple, just, I'm going to ring that bell. Just I want a regular to go in there and ring old power bell. attack. Just keep it simple. Ring my bell. Ah! Ooh. What is it? That's a one. Oof. Oh. That's oh. not going to do it. That's not. That's, that's going to do it for somebody, though, Jim. What you should do. He's the one is probably roll. I'm gonna roll a reflex save. Oh, he's still like on those. the ice. I like those. Oh, oh no, you're no, shattered no, the ice. No, 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 you're no, gonna no. get swallowed by a shark or something. We don't know there's anything. There's there. definitely sharks under the cave. <laughs> That's what's there. 19. 14 plus okay, 5. So you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you almost, you almost very, have a problem. It was one of those. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you, you got the start. Yeah. It was like a, you felt it in your chest. Oh. Um, Marcus, you have moved away. Now you don't have currently because the, the, the other cases I said were natural, so there's a lot, like you don't have line of sight currently from where you are because you moved way far back, but you could try to move forward again or keep yeah, yeah, going yeah, I'll backwards. Move forward again so I can get some visibility and I will call down the hallway to them. You're not going to be able to kill them without fire! Good point. Good 
point. So you move into position, uh, you come around, and you can see now the troll, like this whole battle now, you're about ten, uh, 15 feet away from it. You call down the hallway. Lyra? Yeah. What you got? So before I make my action, I say to everybody and I shout, there's something under the ice! And then Something I, under um, ice. and I want to. It's the hag. There's a lot in the of basement. In the basement. <laughs> it's in the Double basement. basement. <laughs> um, Double I want to fight this time to, to fight it. Okay, so you decide. Double you realize basement. that your fists are actually much better. Yes. Oh god! And Double attack. basement. Okay, so three plus ten, thirteen. That's not good. It's not going to help you. Did I say that right? Is that right? You did. Oh great. Five plus ten, fifteen. No, so far we're looking pretty shabby. Plus, don't forget and your eight blanket. plus ten. Eighteen eight plus, plus six. two. Plus no, eight, eight, eight plus six. Yeah. Eight plus six. Yeah, your third attack is at a lower. Oh, you're bonus. right. You're right. Well, I have just really botched that. It's okay. You got really excited after last turn. And you a thought little, you got a little, I was a looking at the ice. A little overconfident. I was a little worried about so that. You're ice. very worried. <laughs> Top of the next round, Alex. What happens? Right we here. need this. Uh, you're gonna need something a little bit, a little bit more, uh, oh, that one's a little more bit active. more pep in it, maybe. <laughs> I think we've had enough pep today. All right. So hold on. Wait. We all hear Marcus. Then I'm just going to retreat back towards Marcus, you're and gonna I'm gonna leave. yell, "Cast fireball!" and I run back. Okay. You run. You do a full withdrawal away from this creature. It's the creature's turn. He uh, sees no reason not to continue attacking Lyra. Sure. So Saving shield on the first one. Sure. That's great. I'll protect you, Lady Lyra! Thank you. Ooh, you can't protect against the 19 on the die. Oh! oh can't man. protect against that, can you, Quigley? No. Uh, that is going to be ooh, 11 points of damage from the axe. Oh, my god. Then we got the claw and the bite coming in. Yep. The bite is going to miss you. 14 is not good enough. You're, you're, too, you're too savvy for that. Uh, that claw does a 19 hit you. 19 yes. gets you. Claws, the claws have been lucky. Ugh. Ooh, six more points of damage. Okay. This thing claws you up. You guys hear from behind you the crunching of footsteps as a creature previously thought out of the fight. Ugh. Steps up behind Crag yep. and smashes with the old axe. Uh, that is going to be a 26 to hit. Oh, yeah. Crag, you are taking some damage. Uh, 12 points of damage as this thing just. Gotcha! So I think our fans are, instead of doing the USA chant, they're doing that. TPK chat. TPK. T. Guy with those torches. Ah, TPK. TPK. No. Quiggles. No. Yes, I. I say to Lady Lyra. I say, retreat. Save yourself. I can't. Oh, do I have the? Do I have the flaccid flame? And I. I once again. I take a full round attack action, and then I'm going to take a five foot step away. Full round attack, and then five foot step away. So the first one is a. That's the one. Oh, oh it gosh. Happens. I don't think he does oh, a full round of attack. No. It happens. Oh, it's so terrible. Okay. So, Quiggles, how about. How about. Make me a fortitude save. Great. That's my favorite one. How about the fix, guys? 12. 12. No good. You <laughs> go to hit, right? And but you but you pull your oh your shoulder. Oh! You know shoulder injuries. Even the healthiest, most like robust people Thank sometimes you, you just stretch. go wrong. I just it goes missed wrong. shoulder and day it's a been couple ice of times. Cold for so long, so Ugh. you didn't stretch. It's been icy cold. Ugh. Like no. ow. You are gonna be at a minus two until you get a heel check on you for anything involving your arms. So I can still kick it. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Technically yeah. true. So I take my headbutt. second attack with my foot. Mm, that is an unarmed headbutt. attack that provokes an attack of opportunity and deals one d3 no, damage. Can I continue my? Uh, yeah, my... you can continue. All right. Attacking. So shield, but this is with a different arm. Yeah, all right. So uh, that would be. It's it's not going to hit. I don't, a... Yeah, I'm just nope. gonna say no. And huh. this one, this one might. It's a minus two with this arm, so sixteen. But do uh, no no wait I said eighteen on the die. 
Okay. So then it's what? I mean, yeah, I mean, I assume with all your other bonuses. Yes, I did. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. The damage Four. is going to get affected by this. Ten points of damage minus two, then, so eight points. Eight points of damage. All right. That's like Got him. And then I take a five foot step. You take a five foot step, just straight back. Yes. Straight back. All right. Still within its reach because it has ten feet of reach. Right. But, and you're in reach of the other creature that's attacked Crag as well. I'm just Ooh. saying. You're five foot back, but you're Son still of a biscuit. you're still in danger, Quigley. Crag. You got somebody in front of you, you got somebody behind you. How you gonna handle this? Well, I just got hit in the back. Yeah, you did. I saw it. You know how mad I that made makes it happen. me? You know how, you know how angry I bet it makes you so angry that you rage. That I rage! Here we go! I'm really excited about this because I know what needs to happen to end this combat, and oh, now it fine. can't happen. <laughs> no, it can happen. <laughs> All right, go ahead. That's fine. I rage, spin around. And power attack. Get him. Ugh. And 18? Total? 18 total. Is not quite enough. Not quite it's enough. Not quite enough? Not quite enough. Do you have another attack, maybe? Auspicious Mark! <laughs> oh my gosh, yes! Auspicious Mark 2. Plus 5. Okay, yeah, that is definitely enough. You have successfully hit the going street. down. Come on! Almost maximum damage minus the two, so. Uh, <laughs> messing me up. 13. 24 points of damage. 24. What we really need is a flaming crag's hand. All right, so yeah, it just uh, drops down. With it. You just crush it. Crush its thigh, and it's just like. Leg sweep goes down. Doesn't get back up. Can Marcus. he make his second attack? That was his second attack. No, it wasn't. No, that it was, was auspicious, auspicious Mark's mark. first attack. Okay. But my second attack, I can't turn. And yeah, you can't. Yeah. I can turn yeah, and attack it's, it's the guy. It's within range of you. Yeah, you're in melee range, so sure. Go for it. Do, oh. do it. Yes. Power attack. Ah! Ah! Twenty-one. Huh? Twenty-one hits. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Crag you crush it down to the ground. Goes crush down to Oh, it just drops. Ah! Ah! The crag, you're an animal! Marcus? What's uh, the Creatures have been destroyed. I say... No reason to worry now. Get out of the way! And I leave okay. instantly, I'm running! Okay, Lyra. I get out of the way. I start running Which away. Which way? Up. Uh. Where's everyone? You else? have two directions you could possibly choose from, and you're the only one. You're first to move, so pick a direction further down the way, like you were traveling down the tunnels. Are you gonna go? Or are you gonna go back the way you came? Oh my gosh! Well, where's everyone else? They're literally right next to you, except for Marcus. It was an unstated readied action, but once that they're clear. And me. I want to get out of the way. Which way is it getting out of the way? Look literally, behind. either direction will be out of the way. It just matters which one you want to choose. I want to go down the hall. There's the way. You're going. Are you going forward or back? Away. Which way? Yeah, which forward. way? Yes, yeah. Forward or backward? Say forward I don't know. or back. I don't literally know. flip a coin Say at this point. Uh, I will choose. Back. You go backwards. Okay, so you go running down the tunnel. You, you pass Marcus by. Yes. And he's like, he's just like staring at you, shaking his head, like, I don't even know what happened. Because you just watched her sit there and she was like, ah, 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 ah. I'm, I'm, I'm not, not, not doing well. Not doing well. well. For six seconds. Dad, what should I do? Sorry, Jamie. Alex. I'm by Marcus, because remember I ran you, back. Okay, so you're just going to chill? See? Yeah, I'm just waiting. Okay. She had left. Okay, tell me that. All right. We got Quigley and we got Craig. Um, I'm going to Quigley. follow Lady Lyra's instincts. Follow Craig. Or instincts, standing there? Yeah, no, I sure. moved, I moved. No, oh, you moved? I'm going to run I after you. Rage down? You, you can come out of Rage, there's no enemies. Rage down and move towards Leo Knucklehead's Ryan. voice. Move towards Knucklehead's voice, okay. As quickly as a fatigued... Fireballing him? 
No, I'm gonna mad monkey something. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I was just curious. That's two round actions. You had other options. You could have used uh, no, really? Magic Missile. Ooh. Okay. 10, 15, 18, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. Those are crispy cooked trolls. Ice trolls. Brian Newman said, Marcus, unleash the fury of the power of the universe. So they can't, they can't, they can't make they can. saves against. And he against did, Brian. They Good job, never, no ever monkeys. do anything, Not even monkeys. if you wrap them in the bandages that you just got. Could they feed a party oh, of you five? You would. That's a good ice speech. You could that try to eat the ice trolls. Time. Would I know? Could I do a survival check and see, or would I just know off the, off the top of my I mean, head? Okay. Just from the Wait. smell of their cooked flesh, you're not like. You're not feeling like, mm mm, dinner's served. So Ray Nadsworth says, Where's the fire when you need it? Ones. Right there. I can hear there it is. Um, Jim can make a perception check of the room. Yeah. John Christian says, Go with your know, instincts, Jim. Like, pull no punches. punches. That's what he said during the battle. Yeah, they got, they got hurt pretty bad. I was worried that the ice trolls were actually going to be less of a challenge. And Blair Peterson says, Nope to Paizo. Next spellbook update. Add flash and flame. That's a super good spell. Yes. 15. 15. Yeah, like, okay, so you find in the room uh, these axes, not really well made and too big to carry around. These are large sized weapons, so you're thinking, leave those behind. Not a big deal. You go up on this, this area where the troll, the second troll jumped down from, they have like some, this is, the, this is where they live. Like this is like, but they don't have anything like worth we just came in their house and murdered them? Yeah, right. you did. Everyone near me, I have got to heal. You guys were like, why are they here? And it's like, well, they live here. I mean, you guys are coming to them. They're not, like, yes. seeking you guys Wait, out. Then, they, were, they were in their home. Darwin Thorpe brought up a good okay. point. The ice thaws out of an ice worm. Five. Yeah, ice, ice, Five? Oh. There is no more ice on the pond. But, and there is some little creatures that, like, I see little. but there's nothing. Yeah, but you say it like that. So I see little things moving in the ice. Yeah, I mean, like, well, I mean, there's no more ice. Can we go oh, fishing? They got cooked. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, oh, the creatures under the water got cooked too. There are no. I mean, they're not. The ice is gone, and they're just swimming. I have we one more see. channel. I was just being. All right. I I, I was oh, used it. Day, day. Like there was a threat, but Don't it's just like little it. crustaceans and stuff. I, need, I know, I know. You I'm could eat those, maybe. Make a survival check. I made a survival check on the trolls. Yeah. It was a 25. Yeah, you don't want to eat the trolls. I'm you just go don't want to. Stand right. close by Sir Craig at the ready okay. because of this Ready? icy pond. Yeah. So you you get those kills. Six plus one, seven. Cool. I need to do one for me too because I'm. Thank not you. Uh, uh, Lyra. Right. I Mark. get two kills. Six yeah, I get plus two one, kills. Seven. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's good. I need to get a nice um, wand. I mean, that's kind of, yeah, that's definitely. really throwing yeah. off your like counts now. Because you guys do all the work He's and he just comes in and. Well, it would because it's vault, he vultured the kills. But it was a necessary. It wasn't because, yeah, it was necessary. Would have, like, you could have used. It was like a, the undead. You could have used a torch, that one that you hadn't thrown down uh, oh. into a chasm. You could have used a torch to kill them. I so like how the sirenscape just innately went no, down when eight, you said throw down the torch. So I could have t put a torch to it and burn it? Yeah, like it? fire will, like, fire will kill them. Oh, man, I had eight torches. I could have, I could have been like. Don't you dare shoot that fireball! And I pull out the torch and try <laughs> That's to. That's what you. That could have happened. Like Next time. Born. Next time. Next time we go into a nice troll's house. Mm. I'm gonna burn the bodies. Cool. Naya Caspia on Twitch says, "So, question. I haven't submitted my treasure chest options yet. Is there a way we can look at their character sheets so mm. I can make some cool, useful, and not so Aww. useful choices?" So, I mean, I would say normally, maybe, but we're getting tons of submissions, and a lot of them are really, really good. And if you guys are custom tailoring that, like all of your chests to be like, here, I want to give Marcus a staff of power. And Do it's that. Like, it just gets silly. So no, that's just not think silly. of that's, just that's think good. just think of cool stuff that you want them to have. Like <laughs> just come up with something cool. Like, it's okay. Honestly, they don't. They are doing fine, and they don't need like the biggest, most powerful thing. They're doing fine. But well, now how, how way great but we could do was great. the the tea? <laughs> The teeth was great. Like that was a great choice. It was just like a jar of teeth that were magical and did a thing, and it was, that was fun. Cool. So like, I prefer I fun things. And obviously, sometimes you know you guys want to give them and some no. real treasure. 
that was cool too. I mean, like my, Lyra got a whole bunch of really cool treasure. So I guess you know just. So you don't want to do um, chests I, of superpower stuff. Like I, you know, I, I put some parameters on the on the Patreon thing. It's like like keep it to about this level. And I'm not saying you guys shouldn't like give them whatever you want. But like, I don't really feel like giving you access to their character sheets so that you can give them optimized treasure. Like to me, that's like that's a little bit too much. That's silly. I'm not gonna give them optimized silly. treasure hordes. Well, there's, um, silly 